Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another video. Now this is a nostalgic channel, so, you know, maybe every now and then I should talk about nostalgic topics for myself. Today I'd actually like to talk about the first book series I actually ever read. Now back in elementary school, I was one of the students who always kind of was ranked as some of the higher readers. And with that consistently, I used to read... I don't do it as often anymore just because I get very busy with, you know, life. But when I get the chance, I do read pretty frequently. And I am, I do read pretty some pretty complex stories sometimes. For example, Lord of the Rings. However, I digress. That is not the first series I ever read. The first series I ever read actually was a pretty simplistic series. And this is just from what I can remember. The first book series I ever read actually... And any of you who know my humor won't be surprised by this. Was the book series The Magic Tree House? Very educational series as well. And it's definitely one that I think back on pretty frequently. It was followed up by a more memorable series for me, the Harry Potter franchise. But. At the same time, The Magic Treehouse was one of those series that I would think back on and I'd remember scattered memories of, like, which smaller stories would come out of it. Like, what historical figures were involved in writing the series themselves, the books themselves. Like, The Wild West, I still remember when those were involved. Um dinosaurs I remember I think it was like the third book of the series that involved dinos I, I don't know it's like the more I think about it the more scattered it is but nonetheless I still remember that brother and the sister getting sucked into these circumstances and I'd be like well lucky I've never get gotten to go on adventures like those I can't say the same mental circumstance would be the case anymore for me, because it, each day is an adventure of its own, especially since I get to spend every single one of it, part of every single one of these days, with um, at least Amber. And that's something that I couldn't be any more grateful for, just because of how grateful I already am for that. And even when it's not her, for the most part, usually that I'll, I'll, I'll always end up spending the time with either Life Adventures of Christian or Aaron. And it's... Life has definitely thrown me in uh, twists and turns, as many of you may already know. But at the same time, the adventure of just going through your own story is kind of the same as... Well, the novel itself that you read as kids. The more notable ones, other than The Magic Treehouse, there were a few other notable ones, outside of the obvious Harry Potter, because let's be honest, everyone my around my age, all of them read that. One other series that I kind of read as a kid that was more around that time range was Dav Pilkey's Captain Underpants. And I know, that one probably goes, oh yeah, sense of humor, that makes sense. I know, back then though, I was way more dirty minded than I am now. I try to personally avoid it. The person in this channel family who that belongs to the most would definitely be Life Adventures of Christian. I mean, you guys know every now and then in some of my videos you'll find him making that. So she said jokes, even though I requested it to happen as little as possible because I personally don't like the jokes. But that is his style of humor, so... Each individual is different. But that was also my style of humor back when I was a kid. Back when those jokes were more relevant when they weren't particularly outdated yet. But I was a kid. Of course I was that way. 
Dav Pilkey's Captain Underpants fed on that kind of humor. This was around the same time um, where I started listening to 80s music as well, which is going to be a topic for another day. But these books, the series that definitely got me really into reading, it wasn't The Magic Treehouse, it wasn't Harry Potter, and it wasn't Captain Underpants. It actually was the first series I brought up as an example, Lord of the Rings. I never told anybody this before. Everyone I've spoken to about me reading, none of them know this, but The Lord of the Rings was one of the first series of books I ever fully read. Now, admittedly, I didn't understand them entirely because of how detailed they were. I did need a lot of help from other students or teachers to understand it, yet it was still one of the most interesting reads I ever did and still sticks out to this day to be the book series that got me into reading. Got me into writing as well. For the short period of time it lasted, that series is the series that got me into writing. But, times change. I still like reading every now and then. I don't really write very often. But when I do, it's usually parody poetry, I guess you could call it. Parody poetry. Where basically I'll take poetry, I'll, 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 I'll take the lyrics to a song, or I'll take the beats to a song, and I'll put my own lyrics to it. I like instrumentals, so I do that every now and then. But anyway, yeah, that's what got me into reading and writing. How about you guys? What books do you, did you guys first read? If you guys are interested in reading or writing, what stories or inspirations got you guys into it? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like this video specifically, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing to the channel, because I talk about stuff that's about me or my past quite often on this channel, actually. It's usually one option of daily live videos that I do, aside from daily gaming videos. If you have interest in anything like this, definitely please consider uh, checking out the channel if you have not yet. If you're specifically interested in live stuff like this, click the links on the side of my head where I'll either talk about stuff like I did today where I talk about my past, or I talk about random discussive or rants that I have a tendency to go on, like the one I did yesterday. However, in the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys once again for watching this video and checking out this uh, channel's content, at least to the end of this one specifically. And I hope to see you all in another one. Bye for now.